Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I build a electric fireplace media console. It's made from three quarter inch plywood. I used almost a whole sheet for it. And um, yeah, a wood beam that is made from rough cut pine. It's hollow inside and uh, it's quite easy to make too. So stick around and I'll show you how I made this. I started this project off by cutting the plywood down to 10 inches wide at the table saw. I then cut the plywood down to length using the miter saw and the table saw. I decided to use the miter saw to cut all the longer pieces and use the table saw to cut all the shorter pieces. I then switched out my table saw blade for my dado stack. Dados are nice because they make the assembly process easier. I then assembled the whole thing using glue and some brad nails. I had to use a brad nailer to help hold the pieces together while the glue dries because I didn't have any clamps long enough. I then doubled up all the plywood to help give it a nice bulky feel. I then decided to screw it all together since these screws will never be seen. This was a fun project. It didn't take all that long either. It only took me two evenings and a weekend. I then flipped it over so that I could add bracing to the back. This board will later be used to help screw the unit to the wall. I then apply two coats of contact cement to some maple veneer that I'll be using as edge banding. This edge banding will help give the paint a nice finish. I then trimmed all the veneer flush using a router. I then used the router to create a rabbit for the back panel. Now it was time to get started on the beam. Essentially this beam is just a wood box that is assembled using 45 degree cuts. I did all the long cuts on the table saw and did all the short ones with the miter saw. I then glued and brad nailed the whole thing together. I was really impressed with how well this beam looked when it was done. It just looked so real. I then used a belt sander to just take away some of the roughness but yet leave it a little bit rustic. I then used some sandpaper to take off the sharp edge. I then applied some stain followed by a coat of polyurethane. I also primed and painted the lower unit. After it was all painted I then installed the back panels. Leaving the panels off makes painting the inside much easier. I reversed the ends on two of my clamps to help hold it in place. I used a stud finder to help locate the studs. I then pre-drilled and screwed it to the wall. This 
This right angle attachment for my drill sure made it easy to attach the beam. All that is left to do is to install the fireplace. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.